What's up, happy planners? It's Jen with Chappy Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing a huge, huge, huge haul. Um, it's probably gonna be two parts because it's literally so much stuff. And because there's so much stuff, I'm not gonna be doing flip throughs. I'm just gonna be showing off my goodies. So consider today's video more like a show and tell, if you will. If you wanna see all the things, gotta stick around. <music> Friends, thank you for being here and for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you would, please consider that and like this video. Also hit the bell so that you can get notifications so we can continue to hang out with each other. All right, so I'm gonna jump right in. There's so much stuff. I went to Michigan. We just got back last night. I'm filming this on a Tuesday morning and there is so much stuff. I went to um, the Joanne Michaels and Hobby Lobby that was close to where we were staying in Michigan and I hit up the clearance because they didn't have any of the new memory keeping products. So first thing I grabbed was this roll. It's um, post-it and I got this from um, the idea for this from Christine of Twinkle Plants Her Day. She uses this all the time to cover up little areas on her planner that she does not want to show and I really like the way it looks so I thought I would try it. Um, I also, so on clearance, I found these Amy Tangerine journals, which they're just two travel size journals and I don't really use a travel size journal, but I was like, I can't pass these up because look how cute. One is lined and I think this one's plain. Yep, it's plain. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use these for yet, but I just love Amy Tangerine and I love her font. So I had to grab those. I don't even know. Oh, they were $4.97, but everything, all the clearance was 25% off the ticketed price. And sometimes the ticketed prices weren't even accurate. So I basically just grabbed everything I wanted and then went up to the register and said, how much is this? And you know, if the price was right. I got it. Um, so I grabbed these enamel pins. These are from the OG Happy Planner Girl line. This is from the Healthy Hero. This is the Healthy Hero Girl. Came out in 2017, I think, or 2018. And I grabbed this one and the happy planner girl faith warrior so i have a couple of the other pen pins but i didn't have these so when i saw these i was like super excited about it um and a lot of these things i'm sorry like i can't link because they're on clearance because they don't make them anymore but i still wanted to show you i know i have tweezers but i wanted to try these i'm always looking for another pair these are a little bit different because they have um serrated teeth so it looks like it has a little bit of a better grip. I don't know if I'm gonna use them for sticker placement or ephemera or whatever, but it does come with a little light, which I thought was really cool um, for detail. So, and this shows you how you can put the battery in to give yourself some light. So I thought that was pretty neat. I have these, but I haven't seen them since. I purchased them from the Happy Planner a year or two ago and I love them. These are the journals, and I use these for um, creative journaling or junk journaling, um, but one of them is blank, one of them is dockered, and one of them, I believe, is maybe gr uh, grid. Yeah, there's dotted lined, dot grid. How cute with the girls. More Monday, less less Monday, more summer. And then summer bucket list, and this one's plain. So lots of options for these. And then I grabbed this sticker pad. I don't have this one. I think a lot, I mean, you might be, I don't know that if this was on clearance or not, but I do have most of these, but I don't have this one. This one's a seasonal one. And I love these little icons. Um, they're great for like, if you do a memory a day. Um, so yeah, this is super cute. And it has all the dates in the back. And then I grabbed these two mini stickers. These are like shaker stickers. They are giving me all the like 90s vibes when I had my Lisa Frank sticker book, which I wish I kept. 
This is two sheets of Minnie Mouse stickers, and I thought those would be cute for either Go Wild or just for regular planning. I grabbed this from a wrong notebook because it was $2.47, but also I feel like you can never have enough filler paper. And it's dot grid, and it's got like this pink brush stroke design down the middle, and I just think it's really pretty, and I love Ron Row. so. Um, also, this is another one I didn't have, which is really fun. It's got like birthday, celebrate on the front, and then it's got thumbs up. A lot of these are in the tiny sticker pack. And then of course I had to grab another colorful boxes because you can never have enough of these. And I already have, I think, at least one other backup, but I decided to snag that and another fun florals, which this is probably my favorite floral sticker book Happy Planner has the Happy Planner has ever come out with. And so I'm I've used a decent amount of that, so I was like, let me get another one. So, oops. So I got another one of those. And then the last two items I got from Joanne were the Mandy sticks. These are all blue and I love the font. And I did not have these, so I was like, well, they're on clearance. So, you know, had to get them. So one more thing is the Uniball Signal, but this is the broad tip. I tried this before, but it was a more fine tip. This seems to work pretty well. So this is everything from Joanne. Not all Happy Planner, but mostly Happy Planner. I couldn't believe that I found some of these things on clearance. And I couldn't even tell you what the what the bill came to because I threw out the receipt. <laughs> but it was a good deal. Oh, there's one other thing. Just kidding. Just kidding. One other thing. Which is this beauty. And I'm not even going to open it right now, but they don't make these anymore. I can't even fit it in the screen. Hold on, let me zoom out a sec. This is a fitness notebook kit. They had two. I should have gotten the other one, and I'm regretting that I didn't, because I think it was like $16. It's got a sticker book. It's got a notebook, a Happy Notes, um, some little journaling cards, a tiny sticker pad. I think there's washi. Like, it's amazing. It has a dashboard, some half sheets, some note sheets, an adhesive pocket, a paper pad. Yeah, so they're called specialty cards. The tiny sticker pad has 37 stickers, and then the bigger size has 545. Um, Y'all know I'm big on fitness and wellness, so I completely, like, died when I saw this. I was like, what? They still have these? This is from 2019. Whoops, sorry. It's so big, it hit the camera. Okay, so now that is officially everything that I got from Joanne. All right, let me jump into part two, which will be my Hobby Lobby. Okay, I'm back for part two. This is the Hobby Lobby haul. It's very tiny, but mighty. I had to grab this Rong Rong cup. Fall's my favorite season, and um, my local Hobby Lobby was out last year when I wanted to get them, so... Yes, this is super adorbs. It's giant. I will probably use it for coffee, but for the time being, I may use it for pens. So we'll have to see. Um, I also got this super cute keychain. It's really gonna be more of a photo prop, but I was like, this is so cute. So yeah, I grabbed that. And then another create your own sticker pack because I can I feel like you can never have enough of these and they're only five bucks and the last thing I got was one of the agenda 52 sticker books this one's called color basics I have most of them but I didn't have this one um let me see I'm not gonna do a full flip through I'll just do a quick one because just for time's sake because I have so many things to show you but it's the typical like you get two pages of everything it's very functional um, lots of headers and checklists and boxes in the back, circles, arrows, flags, some bigger bullet points, um, and they're also great for layering. And the half circles I love, 
They work really well in my um, color block layout. They would work great in a teacher layout. And then the decorative stickers are so cute. It's very functional, um, but I feel like, I, you know, you can never have enough functional stickers. And I really like the, like the little water bottle and yeah, I was just like, oh, that's so cute. So that's everything from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so not a ton. Um, my biggest score was definitely at Joanne. Okay, and then the last but not least thing that I have is from the Happy Planner. Part three is just three items. That's all I got from the website because I'm waiting for everything to come to Joanne's. I'm trying to be patient, but I'm I'm struggling. <laughs> um, I always say like it's like this love hate relationship I have with the hunt, you know. Um, but it's okay. I did order Wild Styled. I plan to use this immediately in my wellness planner because the stickers are gorgeous. I really, really like the function. Um, I'm a big fan of animal print. I'm here for it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I got that one and then the coloring one. I was really back and forth on this, but I was like, you know what? It's only available on their website and I think I'm gonna regret it if I don't get it because look at these quotes. I mean, so many times I feel like we're looking for a black or white quote, at least I feel like I am. And this way, you know, I can put it in just this way or I can color it if I want it to match my spread. Um, again, I'm not going to do a full flip through because they already have them up on the current squad members YouTube channels and you can look those up. But I mean, I am, I know I have these stickers in other sticker books, but they're not just black and white. So this way you can really customize the sticker to match your spread. And I am all about that. I really like to get creative in my planner. So I think these are a wonderful addition to my sticker collection. I also really love the decal they sent. How cute is that? Um, okay, and then the last thing that I got is this beautiful pouch. I haven't even looked at it yet. It's so pretty. It's so soft. Planner sleeve, they call it. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous. It has this beautiful, like, detail here. Faux leather, probably. Um, gold hardware. And then the inside is just soft and smooth and will protect your planner. Um, so let me put my planner inside. Here's my wellness Franken planner, transformer planner, all the planner things. That fits lovely. And I also got it because I thought it would be great to put this puppy. So this is my iPad Pro and they both fit in there nicely. No problem. I mean, it's definitely heavy with the iPad in there, but yeah, this is, I will feel like much better about transporting things with me. I do have the colorful leopard case, the folio, and I have a couple of the um, older, uh, I don't know what they're called. They are like the cases that have the two zip pockets and all the compartments inside. I don't know. If I, if you, you were know what it's called, link, tell me below. Um, but they're kind of bulky and they're great for like traveling but if i just want to take it like to church or something like i like to take my planner to church then i can fit you know my ipad in here or um bring just my planner and pop it in my purse or just carry this in because i could easily just slide my phone in there and my keys um but this way it's nice and safe and i just i don't know i couldn't pass this up i kept going like do i really need another pouch but I'm just I I don't know I'm a sucker for planner accessories so what can I say um that's everything from the happy planner that I ordered from their website directly but I will definitely be hitting up my Joann's to get the rest of the things that I wanted for the memory keeping line and a few of the other sticker books if not all because y'all know me and I love my stickers um but that's everything from happy planner Joann and Hobby Lobby um that I purchased on my vacation trip. I have another big um, haul coming that is all 
small business Etsy shop. And I thought I would do that in a separate video. Um, it all got delivered while I was away. So I'm probably going to do a separate video and I'll post it as like kind of a bonus. It won't be necessarily like a flip through Friday in the sense that it won't be posted on a Friday, but I'm still going to include it in the category. So if you're looking in my playlist, it'll all be in one spot. So I want to know, what did you like? Have you seen any of those like clearance items that I shared? Cause um, they are some OG things that I was able to score. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. I know um, we can't really all connect in real life. I would love to, and but since we can't, we can do it virtually. <laughs> we can do it through the computer. We can do it through the TV, through the YouTubes, right? Um, and I just really appreciate your friendship and all of you being here and watching my videos and hanging out with me. Um, you're the reason I film these videos and I appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching. You are enough and I'll catch you in the next video, my friends. Take care. Bye.